Hi everyone, welcome into the Wildcat Insider as we discuss everything that is Villanova Athletics. So glad to have you with us everyone. I'm Nick Montagna and today we're joined by Villanova women's basketball star Maddie Segrist who's kind enough to join us today having a great season once again leading Villanova off to their wonderful start. Okay Maddie, college sports are back. Everybody was practicing in the fall all over the college landscape and we saw college football come about and now college hoops have finally started. Just what's it been like for everybody to get back playing college basketball? It must be a wonderful feeling, huh? Well, thank you so much for having me and it's been great. I mean, I think everyone was so excited to get back to practicing and like to play games. Like when we played that first game, it was like, poof, like finally we were able to play. And I think like a lot of teams throughout the country, um, you know, just realized how grateful we are for the opportunity to be able to play, especially with so many teams not able to. And I think we're really enjoying every single game more because of that. Yeah, that's great to hear that I think we all have an appreciation for things in life, especially with what we've all gone through with the pandemic. Well, Harry Peretta retires and now it's year number one under Denise Dillon. What's that transition been like from one coaching staff to the next? Um, it's definitely like different. Like it definitely was a transition, but um, fortunately like I, uh, Coach Dylan played for uh, Coach Peretta, so there are a lot of similarities. And uh, having Coach Joe on staff, like, it really did make the transition much smoother, like, than it could have been. Uh, but it's been great. Like, so far, it's been great. We've incorporated a lot of, like, the offensive stuff from the past. And, uh, you know, she brings a different style of defense. But, you know, it's all exciting. It's meshing very well. Not so bad winning your first seven games before a tough loss to the great UConn Huskies. What have been your impressions and your teammates about the way the team has played to start the season? Um, I mean, we're super, like, we're so happy with how we've been playing. I mean, we had a lot of close games, played some really tough teams. And I think we know, like, with Big East, the competition, like, playing UConn was great for us to you know, get that under our belt. And the competition is going to just continue to increase. And we saw, like, what one of the top teams in the country is. And, you know, we hung with them for 17 minutes. And, you know, it's just stuff to build on and try to, you know, grow and learn each game. Maddie, last year you won Big East Freshman of the Year, close to 19 points per game. She led the Big East in rebounding. Where have you improved from year one to year number two? Uh, I think like maturity, like on the court, um, realizing that you don't have to, it's not like a panic, like you don't have to overcompensate, like let it come for you, let it come to you. It's a long game. Like you can put up points when you need to, you can get the stop when you need to. And I think um, like that's probably being the biggest area of growth. And like Coach Preto was on me a lot about that last year, like that, like almost growing up mentality, like, you know, next play. And Coach Dylan's the same way. And I think like, uh, I've been able to incorporate that a lot in my game this season. It's been a great front court so far. Can you tell us all what the chemistry has been like on game day when you, Brianna Hurley, and Sarah Mortensen have been piling up the points and really leading the charge? Um, well, it's awesome to have these two on the court. They both weren't able to play last year for different reasons. And, you know, like, that, that stinks. I think they had like a lot of that a lot of practices together. Um, we're just such a close team off the court. Um, this like just like we were last year. And that really does translate on the court. We all get along. We're all great friends. You know, we compete and practice every day, push each other. And I think, you know, ultimately that makes us a better team. Maddie, you had 41 points last year against LaSalle, followed that up and scored over 30 against them this year. You must like playing against them, huh? <laughs> 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 yeah um yeah it was just going in the basket I'm not sure 41 I set the bar a little high <laughs> that's okay it's nice when we see you put up those big games uh, as, as we talked about a little bit before COVID has uh, affected life for everyone and just to reiterate on that a little bit what did you and your teammates what did you guys learn about yourselves during the shutdown uh, I think it like really put everything in perspective like that, you know, it is a game. It is just a game. And like, 
you know, when it does take during the season, especially it takes up so much of your time and, you know, sometimes it gets a little overwhelming and you just have to think back to like, you know, April when we weren't able to practice or you were all, everyone was home and, you know, you couldn't practice. And you think now, like, you know, just, you're just more grateful for every game, every practice, every single day, I think, you know, not even just in basketball, just in general. Yeah. Maddie, uh, you and the great Shelly Pennefather have two of the three 40 point games ever in the history of this wonderful program. And you two have both won Big East Freshman of the Year. And Harry Peretta goes to visit her each summer. And can you tell us about the relationship that you've built with Harry and then getting a chance to take a trek down there and see Shelly and what that was like for you? I mean, that was an unbelievable experience. And I was so grateful, um, you know, for Harry to bring me on that and to like see her. I mean, she's someone you just, you know, you, you just hear about and like the stories and everybody, whoever played here knows who she is and how great of a player. And, you know, I'm, I'm really fortunate that uh, I got to play under Harry for as long as I did. Cause every day, like he's like, well, I have one year with you so I can try to teach you everything. Or I could just be like, oh, you're great and not say anything. And like, there are times I practice, I would, you know, threaten to throw me out. He's like, craziness. And I was like, oh my gosh. And like, sometimes you don't like, you don't get it. And then you're like, you're not supposed to get it. Um, but just being able to see her was so unbelievable. I mean, I've never seen someone like that close to God before. Um, it, it was incredible. It was an incredible experience. The start of the Big East season, Maddie, good win at St. John's early. You follow that up with a solid win against Creighton, and then you play UConn at home early in the season. What did you think of the way the conference season started, uh, specifically against those teams that you got to play already? Uh, I mean, I think we got like three very, very competitive teams. I think every, all of them were picked ahead of us preseason. So two of them, uh, we were able to win. UConn, you know, it's a tough game. You just go out there, you play as hard as you can. And, you know, you, you know, there's nothing. There's only so much you can do and sometimes. But, you know, we came out really strong. We played some really tough teams. And I think, like, there's, it's going to get tougher, like, especially in January, February. We play so many games in such a short amount of time. Um, but that's exciting. That's part of the East play. That's why it is so exciting is anyone can beat anyone on any given night on any given day. So, you know, it makes it so much fun. Yeah. And then finally, looking forward, Maddie, as the season goes along, where do you think the team can improve the most? Uh, I think like execution. I think that's, um, we've been going over that a lot, like different, uh, you know, we run some of the motion and like how hard that is for freshmen to learn. And I think we didn't have the preseason so I think uh people would just be more comfortable with their decision makings and then uh defensively I think um you know we've done a good job in a lot of games but I think uh, as we get more comfortable we'll, we'll see less fouls um less silly like turnovers stuff like that you know just it'll get cl uh cleaned up you know as we play more games Maddie thanks as always for joining us great to see you and good luck the rest of the way Thank you so much. That's Maddie Segris from Villanova Women's Basketball joining us for the Wildcat Insider. I'm Nick Montagna. Thanks for being with us, and we'll see you next time. So long.